so uh, here's here's the thing. Um, this is a program uh, that uh, we really don't see any uh, color in terms of political affiliations. In fact, um, you know, a lot of uh, potential investors that we talk to from out of state are are kind of shocked that hey, how come a Texas, a very very red state, actually provides this much more uh, per reimbursement than a blue state? Like the state of California is like twenty eight dollars uh, per billable hour, and you ain't gonna get anybody to work for twenty eight dollars an hour in California, not with a bachelor's degree, unless it's doing out pro bono work, right? So. Uh, one of the things that, uh, uh, you know, because I, as an investor, uh, you know, that's how I started with uh, Texas Care. Uh, initially, it was all about the money. It was all about the it was all about the return on investment. And uh, um, I am definitely one of those uh, that put my money where my mouth is, uh, because uh, whether I fully own or partially own, I own 12 of these facilities now. <laughs> so. Uh, um, as an investor, that was one of the questions that I asked as well. Uh, what are the risks of uh, if, uh, this type of program being defunded? Well, there's a couple of things that's going for Texas that's not uh, readily uh, – that's, that's, uh, that, that, for example, is uh, not uh, the same situation for other states. Number one, Texas is a very wealthy state, and it's a state that constantly get more people moving in than more people uh, than people moving out. That's number one. So it's a growing state. And number two, Texas is a very wealthy state in terms of tax revenue. So a lot of states, unfortunately, the uh, Medicaid uh, program is, uh, um, although it's a federal program, uh, Texas does not take any federal money in terms of their Medicaid program. Uh, it is completely self-sustained. Um, that is uh, that is uh, definitely a big plus. Uh, number, th uh, you know that uh, another thing that I'm gonna tie into uh, to um, uh, uh, is actually kind of funny, but uh, you know, funding for this program draws its funding from uh, Texas property taxes, uh, which Texas property taxes is one of the highest in the nation, right? If you ask any Texan. Uh, living here in Texas, hey, do you think your property taxes is going to lower or go away anytime soon? Uh, you're going to be met with a wall of laughter. <laughs> And then here's another thing. Uh, this is a, a program that's definitely has proven it has a track record of helping kids and, uh, you know, actually saving uh, the state money. Uh, say, for example, the kids that cut themselves, if they wind up in the ER, Medicaid's paying $20,000. We have enough track record regarding these type of programs to uh, really uh, let the state know that, number one, whether you're uh, 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 number one, you know, these are the kids that usually left on their own devices uh, turn out to become a drain on the state uh, in terms of, uh, you know, they really don't make anything out of themselves and wind up probably in jail, which we all know how much that costs the state. And it's a program that's, uh, you know, designed to help these kids. And uh, we have a very good, tremendous track program, uh, basically turning these kids from what society would deem complete rejects into productive taxpaying citizens. I also asked Charlie that question too about, the, you know, he said like over the last like 10, 20 years, the, this program, the, 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 uh, the hourly billable, you know, the amount that they pay out has really ranged from like the 90, mid 90s to like 102. So it's been in that range for years and years Decades. and years, yeah. Decades, they, you know, and so and yeah. there's, you know, doubt that it's going to change that quickly, well, you know, even if it so would, it's not going to just drop in half overnight or anything, you know. Right. If you have a program that's proven to save the state money, number one, and proven to work with kids uh, and has done a fantastic job working with underprivileged kids and basically giving second chances and basically turning them into productive citizen, which politician is going to run on a platform to defund that program? It's going to be a career suicide for them.